Now, the world's largest subsea cable system will officially land in Amanzim Dorti, KwaZulu Natal, on Monday. The 45,000 kilometers cable brings with it high speed internet and many other benefits. It also provides, it's also expected to provide greater diversity, which will benefit businesses and households. New Zealand Africa's Nobutle Mudise reports. The two Africa subsea cable system, together with its Pearls extension, are designed to deliver seamless international connectivity to about 3 billion people, representing 36% of the global population and connecting three continents, Africa, Europe and Asia. The 45,000 kilometer cable is the longest subsea cable ever deployed. It will serve communities that rely on the internet for services from education to health care and business, with all experiencing the economic and social benefits that come from this increased connectivity. This is a cable ship that is one of five cable ships offer, operating around the continent right now deploying a submarine cable system that's over 45,000 kilometers long. To put that into perspective, the circumference on the Earth is less than that. So you could wrap this cable right around the Earth. And this cable connects South Africa and the African continent back to Europe, the Middle East, India, and the rest of the world. It's really the fundamental building block, the real core of the Internet that underpins all the applications we all use to when we, when we uh, enjoy our internet. Two Africa Cable will spur economic impact with 26.2 billion to 36.9 billion US dollars, equivalent to about 0.5% of Africa's gross domestic product. Submarine cables can be directly linked to, to a, a big stimulus to GDP by enabling digital infrastructure. Um, that enables lots of different industries that, that spur off the back of that, that high capacity, low cost bandwidth to the internet. So it really spurs that on. And what's really exciting about these new cables like Two Africa, which is the project we're landing on Monday in, uh, near Durban into the Open Access Data Center, um, this project goes all the way from Africa to Europe with non-stop, and it's open access. Historically, cables into Africa have been landed by, by individual operators who have sort of had a stranglehold or an access um, gateway for all other operators. But these cables are new in terms of the amount of open access people have to it and therefore ultimately a lower cost, and that lower cost goes into the economy and so on and so forth and really benefits everybody in South Africa and Africa. It's truly an African project. The cable will implement new technology, the SDM1 from ASN, allowing the deployment of up to 16 fiber pairs instead of the 8 fiber pairs supported by older technologies. This will bring with it much greater and more cost-effective capacity. We're mainly in charge of the cable parts which connect South Africa to so Mozambique uh, going up more north to countries like Egypt, Jordan and so on. So we are actively um, connecting several cities in South Africa. We did already in Dunefontein, Ezerfontein. Now we're going to a place close to Durban. Um, and we also connected the cable in Port Elizabeth. By the completion of the project in 2024, the Two Africa Cable would have extended to 46 locations. It will significantly improve the capacity, quality and availability of internet connectivity between Africa and the rest of the world. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nobusha Mudise at the Port of Durban.